Hi, welcome to this video, which is going to be a quick tutorial on setting up a uh, map to work with Dreamweaver CS4, uh, which is a PHP MySQL uh, testing server. So I will walk you through this. Um, well, actually, let's start here on the desktop. Once you download a map, uh, you're going to want to take the uh, map folder and drop it into your applications folder. So once in there, you're going to want to go to your htdocs folder, and this is where you're going to house your root folder for your site that you'll be testing. Now, I already have a site in here, which is an art site. I'm rebuilding my graphic art site, and it's uh, PHP. And here are my associated uh, files starting. Anyways, I just have one page right now as I'm working on uh, rebuilding it. From scratch. Now you're gonna want to tell Dreamweaver on manage sites that your root folder is indeed here in applications map htdocs art. Equally your testing server you're gonna want to pick uh, my ph php my mysql you want local network access, and again, applications map htdocs art, and under your URL prefix, the HTTP and local host should by default be there. You just want to make sure you have your art folder noted there, and that they're referencing the same folder. And that's the most difficult part in setting up the testing server. If you have any problems launching it, though, uh, and let's go ahead and launch map, actually. It's going to prompt you for your administrator password. Now, this is your administrator password for your computer. You don't have to set up a map password. So this is just what you would type in to log into your computer, your Macintosh. And once the uh, map landing page welcomes you, you are ready to go. And you'll notice that both the Apache and MySQL server are green. Under preferences, I've had some issues with the port. Uh, the default settings do not work uh, for me anyways. Uh, and that is me working on a Macintosh Snow Leopard. And so I changed the Apache port to 80 and the MySQL port to 3306, which seems to work just fine. Uh, and here again is the document root path, applications map, htdocs. You can change it if you like, but uh, we're not going to deal with the, any kind of advanced settings. We're just kind of dealing with the basic setup. Minimize that. So I can open up Dreamweaver. Here's my page. Uh, as you can tell right here, uh, the Drop shadow is inactive, and the rollover effects for my nav bar are not working. And these are the kind of things that we would use the testing environment for. So let's go ahead and preview that. And now we see the drop shadow. Oh, sorry, see the drop shadow. And we see the rollovers take effect. So great way to test your pages without having to FTP your folder every time. Lastly, This is how I do it. I'm sure everyone does it a little bit differently, but in the applications folder in map, once you're done, um, what I will do is I have a folder here on my desktop here, right here, which is already configured with my FTP server. So what I do is I'll keep this in here as a backup copy in case I ever uh, make a mistake and ruin something uh, on the page, I can always come back here and grab the pages that I know at once were working and simply update. So this is just kind of like a version control. If you don't you don't have a version set up, a version control set up on your Dreamweaver, or if you don't have an external hard drive, it's not a bad idea. If you don't mind, uh, you know, giving some of the hard drive space uh, to a duplicate, uh, you know, root folder. So you have two root folders. So what I'll do is I'll simply since this folder is already configured to my server and it's the FTP is already set to go what I'll do is I'll just grab all this information delete what's in here and simply replace with the updated files 
And again, that's just what I personally do and what I think is sometimes helpful um, in case you ever make a mistake. You have that root folder in your map folder, htdocs, uh, available for updating, or not updating, for replacing pages that you might have uh, made mistakes on. All right, thanks, good luck.